what is the new role of a publisher? Previously, I mean, uh, in some of the presentations when I use, I use an imagery of a bridge and a river. To a great extent, when I was growing up, publishers were the, the kind of the bridge that connected the others, the writers who are on one side of the river, and we had book distributors and readers on the other side. Then all of a sudden, uh, something happened and the river dried, maybe because of uh, climate change, so the river no longer exists. And so in the end now, what we have is that everybody has access to everybody. The publisher can access the writers, the writers can access the distributors, the distributors can access whoever. And so as a publisher, then you must ask yourself, what is your role? And I keep on saying, for me as a publisher, and I enjoy being that space, I wear duo hats, I'm a publisher, but I also do write. As a publisher, I say the role of a publisher is to be a value add. You're just a part of the value add in the process, in the chain. And so you must ask yourself, what value can I add to people who are getting published? If you can't answer that question, you are not going to survive. Publishing has, has changed completely, and a new model must be established. That is why if you uh, visit Publishing Institute of Africa website, you realize we say our, our slogan is publishing customized to meet your needs. That every person who walks to our door, we have a conversation with you and we find out where you need help. And we don't have to do something that will not add value to you because it's about adding value to the process and not taking control of the process simply for the sake of it. And so publishing has changed, a new model exists. 